Uh, Kirk Lippold with Rihanna, the former USS Cole commander. And commander, I, I, I caught that little stunning, uh, you know, update from Mayorkas about a couple of individuals, a few individuals, didn't specify, who are not now going to be allowed into this country. I don't know where they go, but when they, they talk about derogatory issues that come up, that can't be good. What do you make of that? Neil, it's absolutely stunning that we are dealing with an administration that has an open southern border and we let people across without checking, without betting, without doing anything, and yet the Afghans that they allowed out, out of Afghanistan that got on our flights that should have been checked. This is just another symptom of how poorly the Biden administration and specifically this president, along with the senior military leadership of our nation, put together such, such a haphazard policy and evacuation process that it was essentially a route, much less a surrender, much less a negotiated surrender. And we're now paying the consequences in that, what do you mean you have derogatory information? The reality of it is we should have known who's on every single one of those flights, and they should have been Americans, SIV holders, and their families in order to get those people out. And we forfeited that opportunity. We do know as well that a majority of those who wanted to get out still have not gotten out. Now, we don't know in all cases whether we're all in the up and up, but we know enough that we're probably going to use as leverage the money that uh, we've frozen against the Taliban to get them out. Is that realistic to you? Uh, it isn't, Neil. If you look at it, for 20 years now, the Taliban has been able to sustain their existence. They get money from a variety of sources. They do it through extortion and kidnapping. They get money from Pakistan, from Russia, from Iran. They've been able to get the arms necessary to conduct this complete overrun of Afghanistan itself before they actually got to Kabul and we gave it up to them. When you look at the drug trade that most of them are involved in, if we wanted to start hitting the Taliban, first thing we do, spray the poppy fields and take out the drug trade from them. In addition to that, we have to start looking at these other nations who, in fact, have now become state sponsors of a U.S.-designated terrorist organization. The fact that you have Admiral Kirby wanting to negotiate with them for information and things like that just shows the le level of unethical compromises that the senior military leadership is now making in order to further the intelligence community's objectives to try and make sure that we can go after ISIS-K and others. I mean, this is a debacle that we have never seen. It is a strategic failure, and we're absolutely right to demand that we have hearings and investigations into this that hopefully will not be politically tainted, but instead look at the national security interests of our country and our fellow Americans. Commander Lippold, thank you very much, sir.